you know, data can be, you, it, it should drive the majority of your, your decisions, but it, it shouldn't, like I said, it shouldn't be the, the main focus of the decisions that you make. It should just be one part. Yeah, because there's so many variables that's involved in that kid's learning to where data is just an aspect of what I need to do to get this kid to be successful. Those other variables that you may have to deal with with that student is not that. Right. Right. Because I know in my situation, I have kids with um, with very immaturity levels. Mm -hmm. You know, I have some kids. You know, they'll sit here. You know, they come to class every day. They don't say nothing. They get the instruction. They're ready to go home. I have some kids. There's the one that's trying to talk all day. You know, I'm constantly redirecting them. You know, so you don't distract the ones who are trying to learn. And I have those. I have some that. I have, I have one of that, actually two that I honestly, you know, may not be ready for the rigor of pre-AP. You know, the parents want, want them challenged, what case may be, and, um, but mentally and academically, they're not, they're not there. Yeah, but I always tell those students that it's good because it's a foresight for you. It's something that, it's not going away. It's going to be there regardless of whatever time when you're academic career you come to it, think of it as you're seeing it earlier. So now what you take to do with it is my part of trying to make you successful. But the other part is you trying to figure out how much of this can you retain and how much of this will you be successful doing. Now that part, that's that other variable. That's the part to where it's placed on them and their parents to be able to do those practice problems, to be able to get them to tutoring, to be able to motivate them to want to. So, I mean, it's like you said, it's a bad variation of, of different personalities in there to whereas we know that when that data comes out, we know that other, other part of the agenda that was there that may not show truly to an administrator or someone looking at it. All right, this is a math PLC meeting. Uh, we have three gentlemen here that are instructors, great math instructors of Barnett Junior High School, Arlington Independent School District. Uh, we're going to have them introduce themselves so that the world will see how great Barnett is. My name is Gabriel Baldwin. I teach seventh grade math, uh, academic math, uh, seventh grade pre-AP math, and also uh, star, 7th grade star math, and I've been teaching for four years. The Oris Jones, I teach 7th uh, grade pre-AP math and academic math, and I've been teaching math for 12 years now here at Barnett Junior High School. And my name is Will Rubin, I also teach um, star math and 7th grade pre-AP. Uh, this is my 11th year teaching and my ninth year here at Barnett Junior High. This wonderful, and, and you may recognize that the gentleman uh, dressed down today is dressed down Friday. Although we you know we laid back, we're still effective. And thank you, audience, for your attention. So, one more question for you guys: What do you what do you say is the most imperative thing to uh, get uh, quality instruction? I'll start off. Uh, I think the most important thing is. Um Making those connections with students, building relationships to the point where they trust you. Um, you know, they, they will, whatever issues or problems that they're having outside of school or inside of school, um, they're willing to work with you to get past those to uh, make sure that they're, they're doing the best that they can from an academic perspective. Yeah, I, def I definitely agree. You get to have the relationship with the kids. Also, you have to bring it also, bring it to their life and to, and to their world. Get the connection to where certain things that they deal with on a daily basis. Otherwise, they don't see the relevance of it. So they have to see that connection of what of what we're trying to teach. How is that affecting them now, and how it will affect them in the future? Why is it important? I would say uh, echo the same thing. You have to be a motivator to the students to be able to get them to be successful with the curriculum. Also, you have to be able to differ differentiate and uh, integrate technology into your lessons. Thank you, gentlemen, very much, and y'all have a wonderful day.